A follow up on excessive flooding in one neighborhood near Waco. It's happening because of runoff from McGregor farmland and the airport. Neighbors have tried reaching out to the city officials for a solution, but they feel like they're running in circles. Six News reporter Sydney Deshawn tells us about what the neighborhood has been dealing with. So it doesn't take long for it to go down. Yeah. It's just that when it's coming, it's the Colorado Rapids going down through here. Three years and still no solution. It's dangerous. It's a rushing river. We have debris coming down it. The water that's settling in our property is it's mucky. It's disgusting. I don't know if there's anything being brought over from the land over there that is detrimental to our health. No matter how many inches of rain, it always ends up being a disaster for neighbors in Meadowland Estates and Sunrise Lane near Waco. Three inches. That's what we wow. got last night. And it put substantial, it put water all the way around three sides of my property. It's just spewing out. Yeah. This is our forever home. This is where we retired to. We are in a fixed income. So all of this stress of possibly having to pay for damage, that's even worse. Since 2021, there's been back and forth about who can help. I got redirected from the city back then to talk to the city of McGregor to the city of McGregor telling me to deal with the city of Waco. So nobody is taking responsibility for this problem. The water comes from the McGregor Airport, but the affected area is within Waco city limit. The city of Waco says they conducted a drainage study that identified potential solutions. City Council recently approved a contract with a local engineering firm to design an outline. It insults my intelligence because this is not a drainage problem. This is an overflow water problem from McGregor. Frustrations are growing as the search for answers continues. So all this planning they've been doing for three years since I've been here, what are, what are they doing with it? That was Sydney Deshaun reporting for us. Now, Six News also reached out to the McGregor Airport manager about what's being done. We haven't heard back there, but we are going to follow this story as it develops and continue to press for more answers.